SpaceX billionaire Elon Musk says the company's Starlink satellite broadband service is available in Ukraine and that SpaceX is sending more terminals to the country, whose internet was disrupted due to the Russian invasion. In today's video, we'll talk about how Elon Musk steps up to save Ukraine. But before that, make sure you press that red subscribe button along with that tiny bell icon to get updated every time we post new videos. Let's get started. Elon Musk wins new fans after responding to Ukrainian minister and providing Starlink service. Internet connectivity in Ukraine has been affected by the Russian invasion, particularly in the south and east of the country, where fighting has been most intense, Internet Watchers said on Saturday. Russia launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine on Wednesday. Since then, Western countries have banded together to impose harsh sanctions on Russia. Following the decision to block Russia from the SWIFT global banking system on Saturday, President Vladimir Putin put the country's nuclear force on high alert. According to internet governance watchdogs NetBlocks, there have been significant disruptions in connectivity in various parts of Ukraine as Russia pushes forward. Starlink service is now active in Ukraine. More terminals en route, Musk wrote on Twitter on Saturday. He was responding to a tweet from a Ukrainian government official who asked Musk to provide Starlink stations to the beleaguered country. At Elon Musk, while you try to colonize Mars, Russia try to occupy Ukraine. While your rockets successfully land from space, Russian rockets attack Ukrainian civil people, said Ukraine's Vice Prime Minister Mikhailo Fedorov on Twitter. According to Politico, Musk's SpaceX has thousands of Starlink satellites in orbit, allowing the company to transmit broadband services around Earth without fiber optic cables. The satellites could keep Ukraine online if its internet infrastructure is damaged by Russian attacks, according to the report. While extremely expensive to implement, satellite technology can provide internet to people living in rural or hard-to-reach areas where fiber optic cables and cell phone towers do not reach. Technology can also be an essential safety net when hurricanes or other natural disasters disrupt communications. Elon Musk has said that SpaceX will save the International Space Station if Russia tries to knock it out of orbit after threats from space chief Vladimir Putin. Dmitry Rogozin warned that Russian technology and expertise are needed to prevent the ISS from crashing into the United States or Europe, the Sun reports. If you block cooperation with us, who will save the ISS from an uncontrolled deorbit and fall into the hands of the United States and Europe, Rogozin tweeted on Friday, following President Joe Biden's announcement of sanctions over Russia's invasion of Ukraine. But Musk intervened by responding to Rogozin's threat with the SpaceX logo. When a Twitter user asked the billionaire if that meant SpaceX would prevent the ISS from falling to Earth, Musk replied, yes. He also responded to a tweet showing the ISS without the Russian segment and a SpaceX Dragon attached instead. Good thread, Musk wrote. A recent report said that Musk's Starlink project is an ambitious attempt to place a network of satellites in Earth orbit to provide internet access around the world. So far, SpaceX has launched more than 1,700 Starlink satellites into orbit, and the company plans to launch more than 40,000 in total. However, Musk did not elaborate on how SpaceX plans to get additional terminals in Ukraine locals will not be able to access the Starlink network without these terminals. This is not the first time that Musk's company has intervened to help a country in need. Earlier this year, it was reported that SpaceX sent around 50 Starlink terminals to be installed in Tonga in a bid to restore the internet after a volcanic eruption. So that's all for today's video. Let us know your views in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.